What is going on, everybody? My name is Justin Martinez, and today we're going to be learning how to make the UI using the UMG, the Unreal Motion Graphics Editor. So, let's get started. In Unreal Engine, uh, I use the virtual character template. I just added a new folder used called UMG, and how you add a new folder is within the content browser, right click, just type it, uh, click new folder, and then you'll find it. So we want to get started with our UI. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make an ammo counter and then a health bar, etc. So let's get started with our uh, with our ammo counter. You want to right click, you want to go to user interface and widget blueprint. And this will be called player type. And this is where we're going to house in our health, uh, inventory, etc. So let's get started with uh, our ammo counter because that's easy enough to do. We just grab our text, we just grab the text on the top, click, drag it out. Uh, I'm going to change its color and opacity because why not. And I'm going to change the uh, font size to something big, uh, right about there. Oh, Doug, you can't see it. Don't worry, just scale it and then scale it. There we go. I think I'm going to plop this in. Uh, that is all we need to do right now. We're going to hit file. Close that out. We're going to go into our first person character blueprint. No, underscore. Uh, now, we have to add a lot, like some variables. We, we want to add some variables. First one we're going to have is ammo. And we're going to set that as an integer. Next up, oops, sorry. I do need to back up just a hair. Uh, let's go to temp graph. Next up, we're going to put uh, get a player health going, so let's cl uh, click on new variable, and we're going to call it player health. Player health is not going to be an integer, it's actually going to be a float, because we want some extra uh, settings for it. We want that exact decimal value. And we're going to create another variable, which is called can fire. This is going to check if we can fire or not. And we're going to set this as bool. So if we compile, we can set them. Uh, for once, uh, you'll want to make sure canfire is checked for that loop is true. Player health, we can leave it at one, um, but uh, I'll explain that later. And ammo counter, we're going to set to mm, 10. Now we're going to do a couple, a uh, little thing of math here. We're going to get ammo. I'm just going to hold down control, left click, drag it out. We're going to get ammo, and we're going to subtract it by one. We're going to uh, hit, uh, so drag the green can out, hit the minus key, and you're going to go integer minus integer. And since our current, our, our default value is one, we're fine with that. And we want to set ammo to resultant of this. So to do that, we hold down alt, left click, drag it out. And we take this pin and plug it into there. And then we take this pin and plug it into place down at location. And we now have our ammo system. So we can actually uh, do some more uh, blueprints with our uh, HUD class. So under the content browser, I'm going to go back into the UMG. I'm going to open up player HUD. And the text block selected. I am going to, first off, I'm going to get rid of text block, because that text is just annoying. Uh, next up, right next to text, you'll see this one thing called bind. You want to click on this. You want to create binding. And there's where we're going to uh, output our uh, ammo counter. So to do that, we're going to need uh, a couple things. We're going to right click this, and we're going to type in get pl player controller, and we're going to cast it. To, oh, no, not player controller. Sorry, player pawn. Get player pawn. And we're going to cast it to our first person character. Cast to first person character. And we're going to plug this in. Move this up. And as first person character, we are going to get ammo. And we're going to plug this into our return value. So we're going to plug that. Uh, we're going to plug our return node into the main thing, not cast variable. So, what did we do? Okay, so 
basically our text block is getting the ammo value we have for ammo and we're converting it to string as a return value. So essentially what we did was we made our ammo counter or compile. Uh, don't worry about that note, that's always been there, compile. Now we want to draw our HUD. To do that, we want to actually do, we we'll want to right click, just type in event, uh, not event, begin play. With begin play, we're going to drag out uh, begin play uh, node, and we're going to type in create widget. The widget is going to be, you guessed it, player HUD. What's the only player does? Well, we're going to get player controller. And the return value, and uh, we're going to drag this out, and we're going to say uh, add to viewport. What's the target? The target is going to be return value. So now we compile again, we save this down, and we save this down as well. So now if we play, oh right, we see our ammo. And it's going down. It's not negative. Let's fix the negative right now. We're actually gonna do the reload function. On second thought, uh, on second thought, I'll do the reload function in the next video. I'll just break it up. So, yeah, look forward to my second video. See you in a little bit, boppers.